This video is the second part for using Cloud Control 13C to do the monitoring. Based. Here, the last time we talked about metrics, we talked about metrics template, uh, how to set up uh, and apply it. Today, is the, what we are going to talk about is the code incident rules and also the tips for setup alert. In today's topic, the first one we're going to uh, talk about the customized incident rules. So do not use the Oracle rules because that one rules, Oracle have out of box rules. You cannot modify, you cannot do anything with it. That's why I never use it. To, uh, and then they're quit mine. So this is one thing is, uh, which one we usually need it. The second is to when you set set up incident rules, you send to the alert or notification to the DBA to the people manage the system. In that case, when you use the work of one work of threshold setup, everything may not be what you want. In that case, you probably got a lot of notification like we got when start beginning using work one, the night got a 6,000 of them. It's the most are garbage, useless. And then the second part I'm going to talk about it basically, how can you avoid or get rid of some alert notification to you don't need. So there's two tips. One using threshold modification or even empty to disable it. The second is using the incident rules. Modify, include it, include it. Yes, this basic rules. Basic way two tips can do that. Okay. For setup uh, custom incident rules, so that's uh, the way already uh, the long time ago I have done another video talking about it. I'm not going to repeat here. So here is generally what I'm going to do. So for this one, I set for university. In the universities, uh, when you create uh, Cloud Control 13C, uh, Oracle have out of the box one. There's a two of them. One is the rule set for self-update. Another one is the rule set for all targets. Actually, you can use the both to running your business and should be fine. But the problem is here is the enable, and also this one cannot be monitored because they have lock on it. You cannot do anything with it. Even you do not like it, something, you have to take it. And that's why so we got 6,000 alert per night. So in that case, I always create mine. It's the five of them is I always create. First one is unreachable agent. We have to create incident for it. All of them down target. No matter what target it is, it could be host, could be web server, could be database, could be listener, could be rank, ASM. Anyone is done, I create an incident for it and send to alert, right? The third one is the disruption. Disruption is one not very clear for most people, but later when I talk about it, I use the one example in this incident. Uh, you probably got some idea. Uh, the next one will be metric alert. It's according to the metric it was set before. Remember metric and the metric is uh, template metric uh, extension, right? So that according to what is set up, the metric alert will be created and then send a notification for it. The next one. This one's pretty important you're going to tell the system what to do if say this event already several days or 
three days, two days, what are you going to do with your mind? You may want to clear it. It's what I said. If more than three days, clear this uh, notification. That's meaning you said, oh, I'm really done with it. Forget about it. Right? So here is the way I set up. I think would be good enough for us to take care of our system. When I set up this one, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disable this work one. Don't bother me. Don't send me 6,000 alert per night. So here's the enable. You send no, no, no. So only here is yes, right? The yes, the user will be DBA, and then the alert message to uh, you can set up internally here, send to DBA, so DBA get a notification. So here is the instant rules. I, if you want to more see modern, uh, my another video about talking about the incident rules, how to set up. So the next one is to, so like I remember. So we got to say all of the rules when you set up, but we do not change the work of rules. Uh, even we have a customized metric template, we still got 6,000 per night. So the how to get rid of the alert notification that you don't want to get. So that is the one, I give you two tips. The two tips is, um, is technical one. You can follow this one, do the others. The first one is using threshold modification or even empty it. So when you using 13C, you're going to got this guy. Global cache block lost metric issue. Here issue is what what, what happened is that you got this constantly uh, for the Olam servers and when you got it you got some trouble with it because it uh, one night can create two thousand of them. Yeah. Uh, the work already noticed in the happening in the 13th C, so they have special notes for it, document, how to disable it, but it doesn't work. I tried, it doesn't work. But today I will tell you that, uh, what I did to get rid of it, and then the things will be have a general purpose. So you can follow the way I did the, to dealing with that the other metric related this kind of uh, alert. So here's let me talk about it. What you mentioned you got. So I also highlight the red part. This so you have to remember later. We're going to use this one to looking for where are you going to change it because too many. Hundred thousand uh, metrics for different types, right? And you try to find where to change it, so very hard. But here's information given to you. I highlight with the red color. So this one tell you first. You pick up from your error message. What is the target type? The second important thing is message. What is exactly message, right? Metric global cash block lost this one so you have to know event type is metric alert yeah. event names red global cash lost right and metric groups you use in this one to looking for where they are also metric what exactly metric you're running to you can find this one where it is Right. So this is to highlight the red color the information. That is the what you want. Later you're going to find where to change it. So let me tell you this is a typical issue so in the 13C. It's the work will have notes for it. It's, uh, this is a notes number. But if you can try it, if you can disable it, that'd be great, right? But using the tools called EMCLI. It's not on the console side, it's on the server side. You follow the command here. Generally, here is the command you're going to use. 
use this command to disable it. But I already tried this one, it doesn't work to me. I tried it many ways, I got the error. The error told me the Oracle database collection name not valid. I checked in another node, this node is not valid, chart the solution, it doesn't work. So I have no choice because I don't want to every night 2,000 things sent to me. So I try to find word in the console. I remember I told you, right? It's the information I need the right one to find it. So remember the last in first talk, we were talking about the monitoring template. Right? We create one template. It's something that's related to the matrix. Or we create one. We create a template according to type. One is a database instance. Here, error we got is a from database instance. So we're looking for that one template, which is data instance is listed here. We go to a monitoring template database instance. When we find the instance, you remember so we talk about the matrix thread, right? You click on the matrix thread, you see very long the listing. Where I'm looking to, we're looking for this one group. Because a matrix thread hole is a separate with group. So we're looking for global cache statistics. Underneath, we're going to find is matrix will be global cache blocks lost. OK, so here's the information we are looking to. And we go to web. We go to the matrix threshold, right? It's all the way down here. We find one called the global cache statistics. Understanding the last one is the global cache blocks lost, which is sent to southern alert per night. Okay. Here's a warning level is one and then Critical level is three. If a grid one, you got notification for warning. If a grid then three, you got critical. But this one you generally is garbage. You really don't need this. Well, there's a very good tip to remember. Empty threshold will disable alert for that metric. This is very important. For all metric threshold related, this kind of a different type or matrix, you can disable it using amplitude threshold. How do you do it? We got this one, right? Code cache blocks lost. We go here. Well, you if you click on the editor, by now I click on the view, so I only can see the view. But when you log into it, click on editor, you will see here edit the sign. Here, you click on editor sign, you go to this page. In this page, we follow that one. It's a warning threshold and a critical threshold. We make the no, nothing there. But this one, I try to remove the tool. They said you cannot remove, you need some numbers. So I put big number here. When I did this, I save it. When I save it, of course, like I remember, you got to apply this one to the target, right? When you apply this template to the target, it will take effect. OK, this is first the tips using thresholds. Uh, disable it or change the threshold. Uh, for example, if we're dealing with the table space, you probably want to change it to very high one. Uh, what's critical, maybe it's 95, we we'll change 97 or 98, it's your decision. But another thing, another tip I try to tell you is exclude in incident rules. Don't this way. Here's another issue I run into. It's not a message issue. 
This one I got is the is warning message. It's not really important. What happening is the server always send this one. Standish is new for one minute you probably get to 10 or 20 of them. The reason is say they have network issue, right? You cannot connect it, got this issue, it's called disruptor. So this error mass you what you're looking for is several things. I mark it with red. The first target type, because we're going to look into it to find where they are to change it. The red part is what you want. So the second one is event type. Target mounting disruption, right? The third one is rule name is the most important thing because the rules we created, do you remember from beginning? We do not use work one, we create everything for ourselves. So this is a rule name we used. Okay, remember this one. This problem I told you every night, 2000 of them, right? But it's going to clear it because the network connections and issues later it connect again, it's going to clean it. So it's double your message here. Say you got a message that says clear, it's closed, no problem. If this go always go this way, why you need it? It's good way to disable it, right? How can we do this? Here's the way. Remember the red part, right? First target type is work web logic node manager. We remember the target type. The second is monitoring disruption. If you remember, we did create one rules. What rule it is? It's to create incidents for target monitoring disruption. We did this one, right? So this error message will tell you where it is. Generated this notifications alert things. Here is the one I copied, so I show you before. Here is the one exactly create incident for target monitoring disruption. So if the alert is comes from here, we can modify this to get rid of it. So we click on this one, monitor, I uh, mean modified. When you get into the uh, editor model for this one, used to be the here is the sentence they always execute the actions. Used to be this one. Now we'll change it. We're not using this one. We said only execute action if a specific conditions match. What is specific conditions? Let's look at the information again. Target the type. Target the type is workable web node manager, right? It's give you trouble. Then we go here. We click on the target type. In target type, we're going to select everything except this work web logic node manager. When we're doing this, everything else is going to create warning or create critical uh, message, but not this guy. Work web logic node manager. By this way, we can exclude it. A summary by now. In this talk, we will be talking about it uh, according to the first part, the second part. We will know how can we set up customized incident rules, do not use the work one, and then if there's more message there, you can follow this two way to disable it or modify it for your only purpose, set up a threshold modification to do it or exclude in the incident rules. Hope it has helped your work. Thank you for listening.